Hi everyone welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. My tears drop when he hold my hand and confess he is cheating. I really did not expect this to get blown up like this. I'm so thankful for everyone's input and kind words. I'm not alone in this and that makes me want to cry a little. Thank you all so much, you're all amazing and strong. If this helps anyone out there then I can feel a little bit more positive about all of this. Edit 1 colon also trigger warning I completely forgot to put this in prior, I do mention depression and suicide toward the end of my post. Apologies. Edit 2, to clarify I used our current ages to tell this, when we first met I was 18 turning 19 in college and he was 23, edit 3, yes this is the skeleton of my story, there is so much more that I haven't shared that happened. If you'd like I can share that as well. I'm an open book about this. This one is a doozy so I apologize for the rant but it's something I need to get off my chest and get insight on from people not connected to me. I'll start this off by saying my phone ex-boyfriend 31 and myself, 26, were in a LDR for a couple of years before moving in together. We met through texting, I messaged him accidentally and well it went from there. We dated for several years, 5, while we saved up and I finished school. Well there were a lot of red flags that I completely ignored and forgave him for. I caught him sexting a co-worker, and I had a deep gut-wrenching feeling about this new friend he began talking to. He met her through an Xbox MMORPG group. When he texted her I miss you during a romantic birthday trip I planned out for him, it became even more gut-wrenching but I powered through it. Yes I am aware I was an idiot. But I loved him and I honestly saw him as my soulmate and the man I wanted to be with. Things were amazing when they were great and horrible when they weren't sort of thing. Well we moved in a little bit after our 5 year anniversary, I moved states away from my family, left my job that I worked so hard to get my degree for, and I had no one as a support where we were. Not long after I noticed that he was very distant. To make a painful story short he sat me down and told me, while holding my hand, that he cheated on me with her. Yes that same friend that he told me not to worry about. That same friend he became so angry when I pressed him to stop talking to because it made me uncomfortable. The week that I traveled to be with him, we apartment searched and placed applications for several places and towards the end of my visit I asked him about me extending my stay for a few more days. He shot me down saying he had to work and he wouldn't be able to spend time with me. So off I went back home. Well he lied to me. He traveled several states away and cheated on me. That very same weekend we planned our new life together he slept with another woman. It was supposed to be a one-time thing and then they would go back to a platonic relationship with her once I moved in with him. I cried. My heart was shattered and I couldn't believe he would do this to me. Well it spiraled down from there. We fought non-stop, made up, had make-up sex constantly, had great times and had shitty times. I left behind everything for him. I stopped low enough to look through his phone, his social media, stay up at night and listen in on conversations with his gaming group when I was sleeping in the next room. This is the most blasé version of this because Terry's so many other events that happened that pushed me to the edge. I was at the point contemplating ending my life by taking pain medication given to me when my kidney stones came around and landed me in the ER after a week of pain and constant vomiting from it. I was ready to just overdose and fall asleep peacefully. One night we got in the last fight. He went back on his word to teach me to drive, sounds small but even though we were civil enough to still live together we were going to part ways once the lease was up. I was apartment hunting nearby but the state we were in is not public transport friendly. I needed to drive to work. I needed this to be able to stay and try to stay where I relocated myself and make something come from this shit show. But he told me he wasn't going to and that he hated me. This was the last straw. He broke me, so many promises and the one thing I asked of him. The one selfish thing I asked for he said no to after a fight. I called my family and my eldest sister and brother-in-law drove 8 hours to come and pick me up that night. I packed all my shit up took my dog and left him. I'm so thankful for this because when I came back home, my grandmother passed away shortly from COVID. Which killed me having to change her, change her diapers, feed her by hand, this woman who raised me and was so strong became so frail within a few days. We said goodbye to her over FaceTime. 
I was able to see my grandmother healthy, and then be able to see her before she left us because I left him. I still had hope though, because love isn't always smart. I waited for him to get his head out of his ass and apologize and cut that woman out. He tried to have an actual relationship with her but she cut him off. Isolated him from friends he knew long before she did, and from his gaming group. Made up lies about him and he finally realized what a snake she was. I ended up being not his second choice but his third because there was another woman who he tried to be with but she moved to another country. She knew about me and didn't want to start anything because she was leaving countries. So of course I become the hot commodity and he wants me now. I have my family with me, I have my dog who is more loyal to me than any other man has ever been, a new cat who I saved from work, and my company took me back with a bit of a pay raise. I feel okay now, betrayal like that doesn't go away, and add on to that losing someone very close and depression being spurred on by it doesn't help. I think I didn't realize how bad it became until I looked at myself in the mirror and saw how dead my eyes were. I cried more that day and every time I looked in the mirror. Now I can look at myself and see happiness. It's an uphill battle, I have good days and bad days. I still love him but I also hate him because of how much he took from me knowingly. There's a light after all for me, and it's on my table. The picture of my grandma from a New Year's party all decked out with the proper props smiling and a beer in her hand. I don't regret it ending, because I was able to see her again. I regret how it ended because I don't know what could been changed or how I could change to so that it didn't end this way. If you lasted this long thank you. This brought up a lot of memories that had me pausing and it might be rushed with horrible grammar so I apologize for that. I can give more details but I didn't want to make this any longer than it already is. Thank you for reading my word vomit. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.